what's going on guys so in this video i'm going to show you how to download steam on your computer so you can start downloading games today i will also show you how to navigate steam once you have it downloaded okay let's head on over to store.steampower.com link to this page is in the description below once you're here look to the top right and you'll see install steam go ahead and click on this when you come to this page go ahead and click install steam and your steam setup should start downloading the file has finished downloading and i have saved it to my desktop now let's go ahead and open it you can't see my screen right now because my user account control came up do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device yes welcome to steam setup next go ahead and choose your language mine is english next now let's choose the location where we will install steam I'm fine with it being on my C drive, but if you would like to change that location, go ahead and click browse and you can locate wherever on your computer you would like to install Steam, whether that's an SSD, external SSD, a hard drive or an external hard drive. Once you have your location selected, hit install and then finish. And then Steam will automatically start updating. Okay, now we are ready to sign into Steam, but since this is our first time, we do not have an account. So let's come down to don't have a Steam account, create a free account. Now go ahead and type in your email address, confirm your address, select your country, prove you're not a robot, check the agreement box, and then hit continue. Then you're going to get this message, verify your email. So go back to your browser and check your email. So this is the message that was sent to my email from Steam. Go ahead and click on verify my email address. Email verified, please return to the account creation window to complete creating your Steam account. So we can exit out of our browser. So when we come back over to Steam, now we can go ahead and create an account name, create a password and confirm that password and then hit done. And if your Steam account name is available and your password checks out, you will see this new account created successfully continue now go ahead and sign in with that account name and the password you just created okay we are now logged into steam and this is the home page where you will see all of your featured and recommended games you will also see games that are currently on sale now if you would like to search for a particular game in the top right corner you will find the search bar type in the name of a game and see if it's available okay now look to the top left and we're going to click on library now this is where all of your games will be displayed we currently have zero games in here because this is a new account but once you do download games this is where you can find them now let's go down to the bottom of the page and you'll see downloads go ahead and click on that and in here you can see your list of games that are currently being downloaded or you can see any games that require updates and you can control them by stopping and pausing the download or the update now let's go back up to the top right and let's click on community here this is the community groups they are user created hubs where members can share interests coordinate gaming activities and host discussions about games okay let's go back up to the top and this time we're going to click on our username go ahead and click set up steam profile so you have the option to change your profile name if you're not happy with your name you can also add your real name and you can create a custom url you can select your location and if you like you can write a little summary about yourself and if you don't want anybody to see your awards on your profile then you can click here high community awards on my profile once you're done go ahead and hit save let's scroll back up and let's go over here and click on avatar for your avatar if you would like to select an avatar that steam has available go ahead and select see all and you can browse through here and you can select one that you like now if you would like to add your own avatar then come up here to upload your avatar and you can upload any picture that you like or you can upload a picture of yourself now let's go down to theme so if you really don't like this default theme which is this dark gray color you have six different options you can choose from so you can change that if you would like and the last thing i want to show you is how to chat with your friends if you look at the bottom right of your screen you'll see friends in chat go ahead and click on that and it will show you all of your friends that are online and you can chat with them here thanks for watching i hope the video was helpful if it was make sure to leave a like and i will catch you guys in the next one